Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera to friends and family. My name is Hans Abdullah. I am a Malaysian sneakerhead. Welcome to my channel, Yokoso. To my channel, play my intro, baby. So a couple of days ago, while doing research, I came across this very common Nike term, NSW. Well, even though it's very common, I don't know why, my dumb brain always kind of interpreted it as a... Uh, interpret but uh, Always kind of interpreted it... Uh, <laughs> always kind of translated it in my head as New South Wales. I have no idea why. It's just, I never questioned it. That's just when it, whenever I see it, whenever I see a hoodie with NSW on it, it's always, oh man, New South Wales really gets a lot of stuff, don't it? I'm a Malaysia sneakerhead. That's been doing this for about 12 years and I did not know what NSW stood for. Uh, fun fact, it does not stand for New South Wales. It's uh, It stands for uh, Nike Sportswear. <laughs> did y'all know that? Did y'all know that? Y you did? Well, damn. You should have told your boy. But the thing is, my takeaway from that is we learn new things every day. And if I did not know it, chances are someone else out there did not know it, right? So with the idea that there are a lot of other people out there that do not know simple things like me, I decided to make a video on a Nike shoe box. Why a Nike shoe box? Because we're gonna start one by one. I might just make a series of things you should know about shoes. If I ever make that series, this will be episode number one, the Nike shoe box. I shall title this video Oh my gosh, what is this on my Nike shoebox and how do I read it? That name is a little bit too long, I might need to work on that. I need it to be a little bit more clickbaity and maybe catchier, shorter. That's how YouTube works, right? Malaysian sneakerhead explains how to read a shoebox label. Perfect. I shall now pass this on to voiceover Hans. Take it away, voiceover Hans. Thank you, other Hans Abdullah. I am voiceover Hans Abdullah, and these are my ugly fingernails. Okay, so I have in my hands here a standard red Nike shoebox. Why am I doing specifically Nike shoeboxes? Just because I don't really know much about other brands to make a video on them. Of course, I could do research, but that will take a while, and I decided maybe I'll just churn this out first. And if I learn anything new with other brands, I'll just make more videos, more content opportunities. What's up? Okay, so first things first, because we are in Malaysia, you gotta take note of the Nike Malaysia sticker over here, present in all Nike shoe boxes from Malaysia. What up? See that M? That M stands for Malaysia. Let's get the unimportant parts out of the way first. The barcode here is of no importance to us consumers, because we can't really do much of it. Newer Nike shoeboxes also have this uh, QR code thingamajigger that I can't really figure out how to use because I am a complete fool. But in theory, it's to check the legitimacy of the shoe. Alright, now on to the meat and beans. Up here, we have arguably the most important part of the shoe box is the name of the shoe model contained inside the box. As you can see, the box I have in front of me right here says it's the Nike Dunk High SP. Special thing about this is Occasionally, you will find abbreviations of words at the very end of the shoe's name. In this case, the abbreviation at the end of the name says SP. You can see here, SP. SP is short for Special Project, which is Nike's designation for their shoes, which is either a collaboration or a shoe with a little bit more higher quality. It's just what they call their special shoes, hence Special Project. You'll also find other abbreviations. Some of the common ones are, and I repeat, some. There are a lot more. There are a lot more. Don't come at me saying that Hans forgot to include this one. The thing is, I can't include every single one. I'm not here to write a book. I'm here to make a quick video. I'm also not that smart to list down every single one. I thought NSW meant New South Wales for goodness sakes. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. NSW, why must they shorten everything? Why are they so lazy? Huh? Some of the abbreviations include QS, or also known as Quick Strike, aka quickly strike on these shoes or they'll sell out. They're usually meant to sell out faster than any other shoe. Hence, the quick part. If it's a release that's a lot more rare, they level up the Q, it becomes a H, so you get HS, you get Hyper Strike. Hyper Strike shoes are reserved for very limited shoes. We're talking like 25 to 50 pairs made kind of limited. There isn't really a shoe box that says HS or Hyper Strike on it, I think. That's just some extra info for my part. Next up, we have LS. LS or Lifestyle. And this means that the shoe 
isn't designed for performance, it's meant for everyday wear, aka lifestyle, it's meant for your daily life. You can still wear it for performance but it's not designed for that. It, technically you can wear shoes for anything, just there are some shoes that are better suited for certain occasions. Boom, NRG, short for energy. Nothing much is really known about the NRG designation. It's just usually attached to pretty rare shoes. Like we've got the NRG designation on the Off-White Air Jordan 1s, I think. We've got the NRG designation on the Galaxy Foams. NRG is just for their rarer, harder to find shoes. Boom! Next up, FNF. Yeah, this one isn't really a normal thing to find on shoe boxes. I just wanted to add this inside because uh, I wanted to flex a little, uh, you know, we them, we them boys. <laughs> uh, special mention, GS, okay? GS stands for Great School. A lot of people think it stands for girl sizes, but no, it stands for Great School because the shoes are made for kids. But then uh, it has kind of universally become known as for women sizes just because you know it's a smaller size but but gs means great school as in like great school sekolah rendah you know it's made for kids meaning y'all have child feet <laughs> losers moving on you see these numbers here right here quick mats these are shoe sizes because different countries use different methods to check shoe size which is damn annoying but whatever lah right the big big number here is always in us sizing always in us sizing Big number, always US sizing. UK is used in UK. CM is used in countries like Japan. BR is Brazil. And EUR is of course Euro. These numbers down here, these numbers is the sneakers SKU or stop keeping unit numbers. Basically, long story short, save your grandma, grandpa story. This number here is your shoe's IC card. Okay, the identification. If your shoe goes drinking and it's underage and the police come to high, they will ask for your shoe's SKU because that's the identification, okay? Easy way to remember. If you lose your shoe box and you want to know what's the name of this shoe that you own, just look for the corresponding number on the shoe size tag. Type the numbers into Google, then boom, you will have your shoe name. Facts. Down here is just the factory where the shoe is made lah. Can be made in many places, usually Vietnam or China, sometimes Korea, way back when it was Korea. Okay, additionally, sometimes you will have these price tag things dangling from the side. Not all countries have this, and the thing is even if that country has it, not all Nike shoe boxes from that country will have it. It can have many different currencies. It could be in CAD, it could be in USD like this one here, it could be in AUD, pound sterling and etc. Fun fact, here's what I learned. It's random lah, okay? But if it has a USD price tag thing here, if you look at the insole of the shoe, it should have this circle sticker on the insole. If you don't have, something wrong di. This is something my sneaker Sifu taught me. If it's wrong, blame him. But I won't give you his name because I don't want you to blame him if it's wrong. But I don't think it's wrong because my sneaker Sifu quite power one. So, okay. Who knew that you could talk so long about a sneaker box, huh? Who knew? It's fascinating. I, I love I love shoes, man. It's like there's always something fun to talk about when it comes to shoes. Always so many new things to learn. Thank you for watching. My name is Hans Abdullah. I am Malaysian Sneakerhead. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we shall see you in the next video.